Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the stagecoach. We do have two potential people that we could pick up, um, but I don't think I'm going to. I was looking at this highwayman, and I was tempted to, but I don't know. Minus 3% crit ranged, and then... Minus 10% against beast and stress resist. I was like, I, these are ones that you would probably want to remove at some point. I don't know that I want to pick that up. But he does have these two adventurer perks. So, I don't know. I'll think about it a little bit here while I'm doing some other things. All right, now, stagecoach. We could increase the number of available heroes that come by. Um, But I think we're fine, actually. I, mean, I could put these, uh, what is it, deeds? Maybe to better use somewhere else. Let's take a look at the guild. Need portraits for this. Alright. And... The tavern? I want to upgrade this at all? I guess I could. But I need the portrait now, because I need the portraits for the guild, so I guess I won't. I guess I won't make any of those changes then. Eh, we'll leave it alone. Okay, so today I want to try out a new... At least to me, I haven't done it yet. Uh, a new group where I do three grave robbers. And I happen to have three, so that comes in handy. <laughs> three grave robbers, and then the fourth position I think is somewhat flexible, but I'm going to go with, even though Martin has a little bit of stress, I'm going to go with an occultist. So we're going to do three grave robbers and then an occultist in, in spot four. Now, in order to do this, we need certain skills. So let's take a look here. Uh, let's see. I need shadow fade and I need lunge. Okay, so you're set. Let's go ahead and improve yours, shall we? Yep. And improve your Shadow Fade. Okay. And then let's grab Dark Star. Dark Star needs Lunge and Shadow Fade. And then Henzo needs Lunge. Okay, so those are the skills we have to have. And the reason being is because the whole idea behind this group is running really high crit chance. Um, so e even at lower levels, uh, lunge and you know using shadow fade to jump back and forth these are really really high uh, crit and damage mod skills I think they're one of the highest if not the highest in the game so you essentially lunge forward stabbing any of the three right in the front in the front three positions of the enemy group and then you shadow fade back which does a couple things for you one gives you an opportunity to stun them, potentially, which is not really the primary reason you're doing it. The primary reason you're doing it is because you need to shuffle yourself back in the group, right? You need, to, you need to move back so that you can use your lunge again. But also, look at what it does to dodge, plus 22. So you end up rotating around your front group and making them virtually impossible to hit. Now, you're, because of the RNG, you're still going to get hit, but it, it somewhat limits that. And then in the fourth position, in this case, I'm going to take an occultist, but you could take like a, a Vestal or whatever you wanted, someone that could heal. Um, but I, again, this is just me trying this out. I've never done it before. <laughs> we'll see if it works. So let's see. We have Shadow Fade here. Uh, I guess Pick to the Face makes sense. Yeah. So Lunge, Shadow Fade, Throne Dagger. Okay, this looks fine. Okay, Dark Star needs... Get rid of that and needs lunge and get rid of wait hold on get rid of poison dirt and pick up shadow fade right pick to the face lunge shadow fade thrown dagger lunge she doesn't have pick to the face that's fine so she'll have lunge flashing daggers shadow fade throw dagger that's fine Enzo, you need lunge.
So, pick to the face, lunge, shadow fade, poison dart? No. I have flashing daggers, actually. Yeah, more flexible in terms of its position. Yeah. Okay. Now, do I need to change anything on Martin? Can you train Martin? I think you can. Okay, you've already got level 2 for the heal. And we're going to use this uh, Abyssal Artillery on him as well. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. So... Normally I run with this Sacrificial Stab, but I'm going to give this Abyssal Artillery, which can hit the last two ranks. I'm going to give this a whirl. Alright, so let's take a look. What mission are we going to go on? I looked at these briefly already. They're pretty much all mediums. Or, there's a short, but it's a veteran. This group can't handle that. Uh, medium. Medium. Yeah, they're all pretty high-end for the level of group I'm taking, right? So, I think what I'm going to do is this one. It looked interesting to me. 100% um, room battles, and then this Blasphemous Vile, Plague Doctor only ancestral item. Plus 15% chance to Blight and Bleed skills. Minus 12% death blow resist, which is not so great. But the other two is pretty cool for a Plague Doctor. And I thought, hey, why not? This might be good. Rewards seem reasonable. It's apprentice level medium. Why not? So let's see. Okay, so Murat, Darkstar. These are all subscriber characters. Including Martin. Alright, let's provision. Now, something else that you can do which is interesting in this group, and again, because I don't have experience running it, I'm not going to try to push it, but something else that you can do is that you can uh, camp pretty much, you know, really early into a dungeon, and you can produce items as you need it, like for instance food or what have you, and then save yourself the money slash space. Because you, you have, they have camping, there are camping skills that you can acquire on the Grave Robbers to allow them to produce items and food for you. Which I think is kind of cool. I'm not going to mess with it right now, but I just thought it was interesting to mention. Okay, now... Hold on, wait. Let's go back one second here. Yeah, ruins. Okay. So let's see. Let's grab... So this is a longer deal here. Let's make sure we have enough food. A couple of bandages. I'm not going to need anti-venom, I don't think. No. Let's grab a couple of holy waters, this little herb, a couple of keys, and then light. Now, that's something else too I'm going to have to mess around with as we're in here. Light levels for these, you know, as light level falls, crit goes up, right? Or crit chance goes up. So I don't know with this group, you know, high crits would take care of stress, so, hmm. It'll be interesting to see how this works out. In theory, I could run lower level light. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Okay, let's backtrack. Oh no, we don't want anything to do with the books. Plus 30% damage. <laughs> nice start. Oh, hi. All right, so person in the front does pick to the face. Obliterated. Okay, I like that opening. A devastating blow. And then, I guess from this we can Shadow Fade, and then Lunge next turn, or we can toss a dagger. Let's toss, let's toss a dagger. Here, let's grab him. Come here. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Or kill him. That works. Lunge? Shh. 
Shadow Fade back. Heal. For two. Oh, come on now, Martin. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Remind okay, so they're not that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Not very durable. <laughs> That's one thing. Gold, trinkets, and baubles. Paid for in blood. Ruins Tactician. Nice. Yeah, the suits of armor are never bad. You're always going to get something decent from that. Which is kind of cool. Okay, let's move back. Yeah, that's... I gotta get this rhythm down on when I should try to activate dodge. Because, again, it's the one disadvantage of the Great Robbers. Not super durable. They don't have a ton of hit points. Didn't I already... No? Okay. Okay, another buff. 30% damage. No, don't want anything to do with the bookcase. Oh, hello! Hmm, how do I want to do this? Nice! A powerful blow! Let's, uh... Probably should heal, huh? Yeah. Twelve. Nice. Pick to the face. Rush this oh, 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 oh. 24 crit. All right. A singular strike. Much are you down too? All right, we'll just weaken one of these. There we go. Shadow fade and move back, buffing the dodge. And lunge. Be gone, fiend. Pick to the face. This expedition at least promises success. Well, so far I like it. We'll see how this works out over the course of this whole dungeon. Open with Shadow Fade. Uh... Let me try opening with Shadow Fade on all of these. Lunge at this guy. How long is this? How long does this do how long does this dodge bonus stay? That's what I want to know. That's right, I dodged it. Such Ow! A terrible assault cannot be. Okay, well, now that wasn't good. Alright, good. Down. 
Yeah, heal yourself, Martin. I was kind of hoping for a little more there, buddy. Still has his dodge, still has his dodge. Okay. There we go. Well struck. Stunned, all right. Need to get some heals off. There we go. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for, Martin. Wasted, yeah, I stayed in it too long. I got it. Gives me extra stress. All right, well. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Two damage per round. Yeah, okay, let's patch him up. All right, good, some loot. Let's... Well, we don't have to go here. There's no battle there, so let's move forward, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Mmm. Alchemy table, naps, nah, whatever. Hello! <laughs> These guys in their hats, man. Leave Martin alone! Miss! Good. You complied. Poor Martin. He's stressing out. There we go. A little bit more. Can we get a decent heal, Martin? Yes, thank you. And heal? For one, and bled him. Oh, great. <laughs> Not what I was looking for.
Yeah, I'll have to camp soon. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Regular sarcophagus. Uh, no. Actually, yes, I will. Sometimes you can get not so great things from those. You're better off with locked ones and using keys. All right, if we don't get jumped in this next room. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. If we don't get jumped in here, I'll camp. Oh, these aren't too bad. And this is what's cool about this group is it doesn't matter that we got shifted around, right? It doesn't make any difference to this group. Oh, that's what's cool about it. Hi there. Pick to the face. All right, heal please. For eight, all right. You missed. All right. You nasty insects. You spider-like denizens of the wastes. Take this. Hold on, you're gonna take something. Give me a second. <laughs> Take this. Aha. Don't shoot that web stuff at me. Ah, oh, that's not good. What's the stack now? Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. Give me my turn. Oh, miss the lunge? There we go. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Quest complete, nice. Oh, it's not locked. Well, uh, I guess I should probably depart then and not push my luck, but I didn't even camp. I didn't camp, and I didn't use a lot of my supplies. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'd have to say the three Grave Robber are pretty strong, and considering that two of these are level zero on a medium dungeon run. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. It's a pretty good haul, and we got that ancestral item. All right. What'd you get there, Martin? Hard noggin, nice. Uh, obsessed with self-worship, okay. Improve stress reduction while meditating and while camping. Nice! The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. The poor caretaker. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at the stagecoach. Well, more grave robbers available, huh? Or 
Early riser, plus two speed above 75 light, huh? That's interesting. Another leper? Hatred of the un, uh, of the unholy and unerring. Ranged plus, does he even have a ranged attack? Aren't they all melee? Yeah, so that's completely wasted on, like, why would you even be able to get this? <laughs> I mean, I know the game's still in development, but that's kind of silly. Like, why, why can he get, uh, why can you even get that ability, that quirk, if, if you don't have anything that'll do something ranged? That's silly to me. The silliness. Curious. Uh-huh. Uh Slow reflexes. Tough. Fast healer. Hmm. Need to get some more of this stuff off of Stafford. I think I'll do that in between episodes. I'll figure out what I want to get rid of next on that. And I will plan the next outing here. But I did like the three, um... The three grave robbers was kind of interesting. Let me know what you think about that group. I thought it was kind of fun. Anyway, I look forward to your comments and feedback as always. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you later.